Hi, welcome back to the Page Fly video tutorial series. In this video, we will guide you on how to use the countdown element in Page Fly. The countdown timer element allows you to add a real time countdown to increase conversion rates. You can use this element to create a sense of urgency for products, or simply give an estimated time for a special occasion like spring sale, the new collection, store opening, etc. Here we are in the Page Fly page editor. To add the countdown timer element to the page, go to the basic elements category, scroll down and you can see the element we need here. Drag and drop this element to the editor. Here we have three options to start a countdown. At specific time, you can choose the date and time to start the countdown with the format, year, month, day, hour, minute. On the first visit, the countdown timer starts to count when a visitor opens the page. It still continues counting if the visitor is on another page. On every visit, the countdown restarts every time a visitor opens the page. The next parameter is the countdown restart. Here we have five options, never, every hour, every day, every week, every month. Please note that, if you choose on the first visit for countdown start, and never for countdown restart, the countdown will run from the first time you see the page. It only runs one time until the countdown ends. So in this case, when you open the page after the timer ends, the countdown will no longer active. We will move on to the countdown end parameter. There are two options. At specific time, this option will set up for the end time with the exact date following this format, year, month, day, hour, minute. After specific period, this option will set up for the end time with the exact time period following this format, days, hours, mins, seconds. The next toggle is redirect when ends feature. Enable this to insert the URL of the page when the countdown timer ends. With this feature enabled, when the countdown ends, it will bring visitors to that page. This option is useful for flash sales, or other cases. If you want the countdown disappears when it ends. You can enable the hide if inactive toggles. For more customization, you can select this option. Here, you can set the timers to full width. Edit the text label, hide or show colon or the text label. Switch to the styling tab. Here you can add styling to the countdown timer. You can change the content color and font family. You can also select each the countdown number element to further customize the font size, background color, or adjust the padding slash margin of your page. To make the label unify with the number above, Select copy style of the countdown number element, the pasted on the countdown label element. Then adjust the font size. You can check out our template gallery to quickly use the countdown timer on a landing page or a password page. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.